Okay guys, working on a Volvo 240. One of these guys, old school. Now these have difficult codes to read. So what you wanna do is come into engine bay, diagnostic trouble codes. Come on over to the left side. What you wanna do is remove this cover here. That's covering this. You just pop this off. You take this thing out, which is inside this. What you do is you put it into slot two. Okay, slot two for checking for tra engine codes. Engine and transmission codes. Just engine codes. Come over, turn on the ignition. Position two, which is this stuff. What you wanna do is remove and turn off everything, the radio and so forth. So what you wanna do after you do that is to turn off your air. Okay, so we're gonna leave the ignition on, turn off everything else. What you're gonna do is come back over here, and while you have this in slot two, you're gonna press for about one, two, and let go. And you're gonna wait for blink codes. One, two. One. One, two. So the code was two, one, two. What you're gonna do is again, press this one more time to get the next code. So you see the intervals? One, two. One. One, two. Okay, so the code again is two, one, two. Now, I know there's no other code stored because the same code popped up twice. So what you always wanna do is shuffle through all the codes. Once again, I'm gonna do it one more time so everyone can see the count. It's a three digit code that you come up with. One, two, that's one. One. One, two. So it's two, one, two, the code. I'm gonna go look up what that code is and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and pulled up what the codes were. This is the ECU codes right here. And my code in particular is two, one, two. O2 two sensor signal missing or faulty. So that's my code and I'm gonna show you what part I need to test. So this is the item I'm gonna need to test on the car, the oxygen sensor goes into the tailpipe, you have to remove it, unscrew it, test it. Thanks for watching, hope this helps. Please like and subscribe. I just wanted to add one last part, after you test it, repair it, or even if you want to check if it's a hard fault and see if it was maybe something that was stored, to clear the code you want to press the button, continue to hold it for about six seconds. After reading all the codes, let go of the button and the light will stay constant, you're gonna once again press and hold it for about four seconds. And let go. All right, now to see if the code cleared, once again, just try it by seeing if the code is, is still there. Now we should get one blink, one, one, one. 111 means there's no code stored, that uh, everything is fine. All right, thank you for watching. Make sure to turn off your ignition, put the cover back in, and put everything back. Thanks for watching.